Hey guys, the cold seasons are coming up and we want to be warm, including on what we eat and drink. So cold drinks, maybe, but most of the time, no, no. But sometimes when we drink hot drinks, they could be a little too hot to hold. But this is an awesome idea. So today in this video, I'll be showing you how to crochet a mug cozy, which is really a really good, comfortable grip and it's really good for hot drinks. So let's begin. Now, first of all, you'll need yarn. I couldn't take a video for this because the video got deleted, but I'll be using chocolate kind. So you'll need a crochet hook, a size J10, six millimeters. If you don't catch these materials, I will post it down in the description box below. And a pair of scissors, because you always need it when you crochet. And some metal snap-on buttons. I like to use this when I crochet because it's easy, on, just easy glue on and snap on and snap off. And of course, a hot glue gun or any super glue of your choice. I am using a high temp hot glue gun. And your mug. Hello, it's a mug cozy. You need a mug when making a mug cozy. So now we have to talk about measurements of the cup. So you cannot just make a mug cozy. You have to make sure that your mug is the right shape. So my mug is 10 inches around, at least 10 inches around. If you have a similar cup like me, then, or at least the same size, then that will be great. So we can make the crochet cozy together. And this is also three inches across at the bottom at the top where the opening is it's three and a half inches across but that's how much mine is so you have to depend it always depends on what kind of cozy i mean cup size you have it cannot be a regular circle i don't know if you can but you want to use like a rectangular type kind and if yours is bigger or taller than mine it's still all right you just need to right use the right measurements but other than that, let's finally begin. So, you we're going to make a basic slip knot by wrapping the yarn around our two fingers, taking the long strand, strand, putting it over the loop, and then with your crochet hook, you're going to insert it through the hole for the back side, and then you're going to take that piece of string out, and then you're just going to pull. And then you got a basic slip knot, and then you're just gonna pull the post the long strand to adjust it. So now we're going to make a chain. To make a chain, you're going to wrap the yarn over your crochet hook and then go through the loop. And that's your first chain. So wrap the yarn and go through the loop. It will kind of look like a braid. Now, you will need the precise amount of, or at least close amount of chains, depending on how much it is around your, your mug or cup. So mine should be at least 10 inches around, or maybe not 10 inches, but at least something close. So I'm just going to keep on measuring my way as I make my chains. So like I said, as I'm going to measure, as I'm going to chain, I'm going to do it and measure along with my cup, wrapping it around, seeing if it's good. And I kind of made mine a little bit tight, so it could kind of like stay secure instead of falling off while I'm drinking. So I have done 23 chains. If you have a similar cup like me, then you will need 23. So now let's fill this mug cozy up. So to fill this mug cozy, we're going to make a half double crochet. To do that, you're going to wrap the yarn over your crochet hook once, go through the next chain, and then you're going to have you're going to grab some yarn, come out, you're going to have three loops, grab some yarn again, and go through all three loops. Again, you're gonna wrap the yarn over your crochet hook, go to that next chain, go in, grab some yarn, come out, you're going to have three loops, then you're gonna grab some yarn again, and you're going to go, uh, go through all three loops. So throughout this whole mug cozy, we're going to make half double crochets. 
you are going to do half double crochets all the way across. So once you're done doing one row of half double crochets, we are going to start the second row. So when you're done doing your last half double crochet of the row and your last chain, you are going to chain one. And then you're going to flip your work over. Then you're going to make half double crochets again. You are going to do this all the way across. Now if you have a similar cup like me, you will need 8 rows of half double crochets because I did 8 rows of half double crochets. Now if your cup is taller, you might need more but you're just going to measure your way while you're making it. So it's quite simple. just. Make half double crochets, then chain one, just keep on going until your measurable amount of width. Like, I totally don't know what I said. But, I think you know what I mean. So I have done eight rows of half double crochets, and my hands are looking really, really, really white in here, which I like a lot. So, once you're done doing your last half double crochet, I already cut my yarn off a little bit. So, once you're done doing that, you're going to chain one. Then you're going to pull all that yarn through, and then you're going to pull tight, and that will create your knot. So we've got the main part of the half, I mean the mug cozy. So now we're going to kind of figure out where it's going to go on our cup. So you're just going to take your cup and you're just kind of going to just play around with it and you're going to get the part. So what we're going to do with ours, we're going to put the snap on buttons on the edge at the corner and then in the, in the handle, but we're not going to do it at the tip because then if we do it at the tip then it's going to cover the top and any coffee or tea will get it dirty and that's not what we want. So once you're done kind of playing around getting it like where you want it, you're just going to do it again. Now it actually took me a few times because it does take a few times to get it kind of adjusted and right because if it's not then you will have an irregular cozy. So you're just going to pinch the areas and those are the areas where we're going to kinda close it up. So with a stitch marker or a safety pin, so I'm using a safety pin, you're just going to mark the part where we're going to close it up. So you're going to mark it somewhere right there. Now you're going to, if you have four, right, at the moment I didn't have four, so I only had two. So I'm only going to do it on one side. And just going to do that to the, to the other end. So it should be around there. And so that's how your mug cozy should look with your safety pins. And so that's where we're going to put the snap-on buttons. Now I made a little bit of a mistake over there by putting the other side of the snap-on button there. But anyways, you're just going to take your safety pin off and then you're going to put a glob of glue, which I'm going to do right now, right there. So you just put that right there and remember to use the right side of your snap-on button because I did make that mistake. And then you're just going to put that right there. Now because it's kind of hot and then the glue will go all over my finger, I'm just using the crochet hook to kind of just press it down. And 
And of course, you have to take those strings off because it's dirty and it's disgusting and so annoying. So of course, you have to do that to the other side as well. Take your other pair of your snap-on buttons and then remember to use the right side and you're just going to glue that there too. And now you're just going to do that to the other side. So to do that, because you took your safety pins off, just kind of, kind of gonna like align it. And then where the buttons start, you're just going to safety pin that area to the other side. You don't have to safety pin, you could just figure out where it is in the same row. You will also do that, but I, just in case, put my safety pin there as well. And you're just going to put your snap-on buttons right there too. So I got my snap-on buttons there and they kind of look dirty but who cares because I don't. It's not like it's for the president. And anyways you're just going to put that together and almost done. It's not done, it's almost done. And look you got enough room for your cup. Now we have to hide these strings. So to hide these strings, you're just going to go on the side with the snap-on buttons, not the other side, because the other side is the correct side. And then you're just going to go through some random stitches, and you're just going to take the yarn and pull it through. That's pretty much how it goes. Really simple. If you want, I can also cut it off, but I think it's really useful because if anything goes wrong with my muck cozy and I need a piece of string, I could just pull it out and use it. And plus, it also gives it a neat look. And I'll be the only one knowing it's there. It can be a little difficult doing it because sometimes your stitches get a little bit tight. But you eventually get it. Then you're just going to adjust it and then with your pair of scissors, you're just going to cut it off. And done. And you're going to do that to the other piece of string too. So now you could finally put your mud cozy together. So just snap the buttons on, which I was having a little bit of problem doing with the camera right there in front of me, but you get the point. And voila. Now I thought, why don't I add a little bit of a touch up? So why not just keep it like that? So what I did, I crocheted a piece of heart. A little heart, a pink one. Now if you want to learn how to make it, I did make a video about it. And you could watch it and I will post it down in the, in the description box below. So you could also see that. So I made a crochet heart and I left a little bit of string sticking out. And then I'm kind of make, gonna make it like a tea bag. So I'm gonna figure out where it is and where my crochet hook is is where I'm going to put it. So I'm just gonna stick my crochet hook on the other end 
and then I'm just going to take the piece of strand from the heart and I'm just gonna pull it through and now I'm going to knot it up so I want the tea bag to be as close to the tip of the makozi as possible so I'm just going to keep on adjusting it pulling it up and down and then just pull it tight to form my knot now you don't have to do this but you could also add buttons and ribbon and just make weird things and funky fun things so just have fun with it don't worry about how perfect it's going to be or not and yeah so if you did the heart with me you're just going to take your scissors and you're just going to cut most of the yarn off but leave a little bit and then you could hide that later but for now i'm just going to tuck that And voila! And that's it. It's so easy, so cute and simple. I love it. It's so adorable. And I ha love having it for the winter when there's hot drinks. And I like to have it as a comfortable grip too. So I make videos every Monday. I know it's a sudden change and I could not make it on Sundays. So anyways, give this video a thumbs up and comment down below, of course. And subscribe! Toodaloo!